Hi, this is part of a tutorial on how to deploy your Llama slash Llama2 models to Google Cloud. In this part of the tutorial, we will deploy our already containerized Llama model to Google Compute Engine. The whole tutorial from start to finish is available on GitHub. The link will be in the description down below. The tutorial on GitHub looks at two ways to deploy our model. One is Google Cloud Run, which allows us to do it really quickly and easily, but does not provide GPUs for our model to run on, which makes it really slow. Compute Engine, on the other hand, lets us use virtual machines, which allows us to use any GPUs that Google has. So we'll be using Google Compute Engine today. So let's get started. Here in Google Artifact Registry, you can already see I've uploaded my Docker image which is a containerized Llama model. We'll deploy it to Google Compute Engine from here. The Llama model I'm using is an Everything LM 13B 16K model. The model which I converted from GGMO to GGF is available on Hugging Face. The link will be in the description. I also have a few other models that I've converted from GGML to GGUF and all of them are available on Hugging Face. All you have to do is go to the page, click on files and versions and download the model from there. I'm using GGF models because that's what Llama CPP supports right now. GGMO models have been deprecated and are no longer supported on Llama CPP. To deploy our model, we have to click on the image and we'll get a new screen. And then you'll see the three dots on screen right now. We'll click on that and then click on deploy to GCE. This should create a kind of template for our GCE virtual machine instance. We'll change the name to something more appropriate. Now we have to choose a region and zone. This is important as depending on the region and zone, there's different hardware availability. I've also changed the configuration to GPUs. I'm going for an NVIDIA T4 for this instance. Depending on your model, you may need a GPU with more VRAM. For a base Llama 230 model, I found it to be about 10 GB. For the vCPUs and system RAM, I'll go for the lowest preset. I'll scroll down and you can see the container settings here. Check all the boxes and set the command to docker space run space dash p space 8080 colon 8080 and then paste in the image link. Now in the boot disk settings, we'll set the size to 100 GB. You might need more space if your model is large. In the firewall settings, I'll allow HTTP traffic as the API defined in the image uses HTTP. Next, we have to set a permanent IP address for the VM. Click on advanced options, then networking, and in network interfaces and default, let's click on the reserve IP address button. Of course, I can't show you the IP I'm using, but all you have to do is click on that button. Now in management, we'll add a script to set up and run our image for us. The script is available in the GitHub Wiki. All you have to do is add the link to your image at the end. The script will install the GPU drivers we need and start the image. We'll also enable logging. This makes debugging a lot easier. That's it. Now we can create the VM instance. As you can see, we get an error saying a VM with our hardware requirements is not available in the region and zone we chose. To fix this, you'll have to redo the process and choose a different region or zone. As you can see, I've already started the instance here. All we have to do is click on the SSH button under connect. This will take us inside the VM. We'll have to authorize a connection. And we're in. Now we can run our image. Now, it may take some time before your image is added to the VM, but you can check by using the command docker space images. So I'll check on the VM once it's got our image. Now, as you can see, this time when we open the SSH, there's an error. That means a container was not started successfully. 
we can use the command docker space ps to list all the running containers. To stop the container, we can use docker space stop and then the container ID. We will also delete all stop containers using the command docker space system space prune. Now we can run our image using the startup script we had declared in the setup earlier. Seems you are getting the port is already allocated error. We can fix this by deleting all running instances of our image or by running the docker system prune command again. And there we go, our AI model is running. As you can see, I've opened another SSH window. Now we can talk to our AI. Just paste this command to start a chat request. And there we go, we have got a response. 